12 Worst Product Recalls Number 12. Yo-Yo Ball The Yo-Yo Ball was actually a fairly popular toy for kids in the early 2000s, but the kids didn't really know how to play with them properly, apparently. Yahoo Canada reported that nearly 410 kids were nearly strangled. The stretchy yo-yo string proved to be a dangerous design, as kids would get them wrapped around their neck. There were at least 16 cases where kids actually lost consciousness from these toys. A young girl attempting a yo-yo trick, called the helicopter where you swing the yo-yo over your head, accidentally wrapped the cord around her neck. After this incident, countries like the UK and Canada banned the toy, demanding recalls on over 2,000 toys. Number 11. Chocolate Worms People and chocolate enthusiasts in Asia were shocked to say the least when they discovered that there were tiny white worms in their chocolate in August 2007. The worms were alive, crawling around on the chocolate bar. The Seoul-based chocolate company Mini Shell explained that it wasn't their fault since any worms would have died during the cooking process. That doesn't sound too reassuring. They pointed blame at the grocery store. Turns out, the entire time, the store was actually selling counterfeit chocolate of the popular brand, and the worms were actually moth larvae. Nauseating image nonetheless. Number 10. Nestle Product Recall While a lot of food recalls might have something to do with salmonella, the Toll House cookie recall was actually involved with a fear of E. coli. Many people were getting sick from the cookie dough. Toll House was concerned that people were eating the product in its raw form, which they were, and not in its cooked state. In 2009, Toll House began to get worried that their product was, and immediately demanded a recall on the product. 300,000 in total, after there were 65 illnesses reported. Some complications involved kidney failure. Just cook the cookie dough, people, and you shouldn't get sick. Number 9. Peanut Butter Recalls The company that sells the Little Debbie snacks demanded a recall on some of their peanut butter products due to a deadly link with salmonella. People were calling hospitals feeling severely ill after eating peanut butter crackers and six of them actually died. This led to one of the biggest recalls in history and 3,913 different products belonging to 361 different companies. Charred peanut butter appeared to be safe, but when the peanuts or peanut butter was mixed into different products, it actually caused 470 people to become ill. This outbreak was widespread, taking place in 43 different states. People were outraged and demanded more safety procedures to prevent things like this from happening in the future. Number 8. Easy Bake Oven Recall Whoever thought making an oven for kids was just an idiot in the first place. The US Consumer Product Safety Commission announced a recall in 2007 for the Easy Bake Oven and recommended that all parents take this product away from their kids immediately. Kids would get their hands or fingers caught inside the oven's opening, which more often than not resulted in burns. It was capable of reaching temperatures of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. More than 249 people reported this happening, including 77 serious burns. One girl, aged 5, had to have part of her finger cut off due to the wounds. While this product is recommended for kids aged 8 and up, it was causing too much problems. Number 7. CSI Fingerprint Examination Kit Little kids growing up who want to be cops or detectives might have asked their parents to get them this kit. The crime drama CSI was all the rage at the time, and the kit actually contained dust for kids to search fingerprints with. Little did they know, the dust was actually teeming with asbestos, a deadly substance capable of causing mesothelioma and other lung diseases. The fine powder also contained the most dangerous form of asbestos, called tremolite. There was plenty of it to cause lung cancer in later life. This obviously called for a nationwide recall on the toy, and you got to wonder how many kids must have inhaled this toxic material during the 20 months. Number 6. Kite Tube Doesn't it sound like a great idea to get put on a kite and have a high-power boat drag you through the sky? Not really! The Kite Tube was made by Sports Stuff Inc., and it was basically a 10-foot wide circular inflatable watercraft that becomes airborne. People would try their best to stay on the Kite Tube. 39 people were injured while operating this device, 29 of them needed hospitalization. Some of the injuries were quite severe, including a broken neck, a punctured lung, as well as facial injuries. Two of these people actually lost their lives. The suggestion statement on the product was featured next to crossbones and states, never fly the kite higher than you are willing to fall. Makes sense, right? About 19,000 of these were recalled in 2006. Number 5. 
Samsung Galaxy recalls. Samsung recalled the Note 7 smartphones recently in 2006 after some of their batteries exploded or caught on fire. Samsung Note 7s were being recalled from shelves in 10 countries including South Korea and the United States. People who bought the Note 7 could switch it out for something new, but people were disappointed with the product failure. There were 35 confirmed instances of this new smartphone catching fire or even exploding. It was estimated that one in every 14,000 had faulty batteries, but most likely, no one is going to want to take that risk unless it's a new iPhone. Most customers stated that the phone exploded while being charged. This goes to show just the smallest errors in things like this can lead to dangerous products. This is mostly due to high-powered lithium batteries storing way too much energy. Guys might want to consider not placing this phone in their pockets if they're planning on having kids someday. Number 4. Tommy Tippy Sippy Cups 3.1 million of these children's cups were recalled for a rather strange reason. The spill-proof cups were becoming infested with mold spores in the removable one-piece white valve. Even when cleaned, moisture would remain in this area and some parents just wouldn't clean this part. There were over 3,000 consumer reports of mold in the valves, and 68 concerned parents reported illnesses from their children. The angry parents posted photos on the Tommy Tippy Sippy Cups Facebook page to show their disgust with the product. Consumers are advised to stop using cups with white valve pieces. The company agreed to replace the cups in an attempt to keep some of their customers. Number 3. Baby Milk Powder This doesn't sound too appetizing. A huge scandal took place in China when an infant formula containing the substance known as melamine was uncovered. This led to an estimated 300,000 victims in total. Some children reportedly suffered from kidney stones and serious kidney damage, with nearly 54,000 children being hospitalized. This led to serious health concerns in China and a fear of exported goods from this country. Many countries refuse to import goods from here, especially dairy products. The Chinese government prosecuted many people who were to blame, executing two, placing three in prison for life, and other serious punishments were administered. The substances placed in the milk were not well tested, and over 2,100 tons of powdered milk was destroyed, and 9,000 were called. Number 2. Firestone and Goodyear Recall Possibly one of the worst defaults by a tire company, Firestone and Goodyear tires were exploding and shredding like no one had ever seen before. When Ford Motors found several models of 15-inch Firestone had severely high failure rate, this led to the rightful closing of manufacturing plants. But the tires were still out there. Firestone ultimately demanded a recall of over 2.8 million tires. This eventually led to 175 deaths and 700 injuries for Firestone, while much fewer were affected by Goodyear tires. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. Number one, Chinese product recall. In 2007, China demanded a huge product recall and import bans were placed by the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand when they began realizing certain products weren't safe. Products shipped from China like pet food noticed that animals were falling ill and dying. It turns out it had the same chemical, melamine, that was placed in the baby milk powder. But this was just the tip of the iceberg. Marvel Toys recalled 175,000 dolls that apparently contained excessive amounts of lead paint. Lead is known to damage brain cells, especially in children. An estimated 32% of all toys China exported contained lead. Toys like Hot Wheels even contained a deadly poison known as arsenic. The most likely reason for this is that heavy metals are much cheaper and using any other substance would likely push their costs up.